What's up everybody, Kyle of Cow Visuals here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to edit portraits in Lightroom fast. So I've already uploaded some images for you. This is from a recent shoot I did with Ashley Brooke for Happy Socks. It was awesome. Went and captured uh, some dynamic movement and a lot of jump shots uh, for the new uh, campaign they're running with Steve Aoki. Um, but go ahead and talk over what I'm here to talk to you guys about is uh, editing portraits. So this is a portrait I just recently edited, um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my entire process. Um, so starting here, first things first, we've got our flat raw image. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my presets and find one that I really enjoy and I think that'll make for a nice image. Um, so this is my folk vibes presets. It's a nice bundle of uh, some nice folky and moody looks. This is 90s baby right here. It looks pretty nice. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and double check and go to my Moody Portraits 1. And look at In the Bush and In the Bush 2. I really like these for shots deep in uh, foliage. Um, and so that's what I really planned out with Ashley here for this look. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with this too. I really like In the Bush 2 here. Um, so it was a nice start off and a nice great look. And so how I captured this image to start as you can see this plant here with these nice leaves so what I did is using my Sigma 35 art lens I was shooting at f-stop 1.4 um, and so I put my camera up in between these leaves here you can see the nice sharp blur from the 1.4 aperture and what I did is just made this slit slightly bigger sorry for hurting your leaf go plants I love this planet um, but yeah so I cut a little slit and made it slightly bigger to fit my camera lens in there so we get a nice sharp focus on Ashley but everything else is blurred out and dark. So first things first, me personally I like to go and start right away on the curves to set the tone. This sets a nice tone and mood for the image. And so I want to keep it dark but I want to have a little bit of fade and I want to bring these highlights down just a tad. There we are, that looks nice. All right, move them down here as well. Awesome, so we'll come back up here. The presence, let's get the clarity up a tiny bit. Some nice clarity, and for the rest, we're just gonna edit this up. I like it nice and dark. Again, I want like everything eliminated but Ashley. So I'm gonna leave that right about there. That looks nice right there. All right, next thing we do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna mess with the colors. So green, dark green when, uh, when in the woods like this. And again, you can kind of tell with my in the bush preset. Um, I've already got the aqua all the way over here to really capitalize on the green. You can see how it hints over to blue here. But again, I like, I like this nice green color. Awesome. The next thing is I really notice is the skin tones. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust those a little bit. I like zooming in because then I can get a really nice focus on it. I really know what the skin tones look like. There we are. That looks nice. Awesome. All right. Next thing we want to do is come down here. I'm going to look at the grain. I want a little bit of grain, but not too much. I like having a nice film look. You can see the difference here. So ever so slightly, but it does add a little bit of a film look for me. So I do enjoy having that on there um, and throwing that in. Another thing, this came with the preset bundle. Um, I kind of loomed over this. Um, the split toning, I have this on. It adds just a little bit of like a hint of warmness, like the sun. Um, you can go. You can go without little things like this at all if you want. I personally like this little tiny touch thrown on there. It gives it a little more flavor in the image. Okay. So I'm pretty much happy with everything here. Now it's just really spicing up the main part of the image. The face. So the first thing I want to do is again, I'm going to attack any distractions. And so I don't want to take away from Ashley's overall look or her natural beauty, obviously. So I'm not gonna eliminate everything, all these little freckles. I could if I wanted to, but personally I like them. I think they're nice, it shows character. I'm just personally eliminating anything I just think is slightly distracting. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is 
We're going to put on that facial mask. Get her nice and cleansed up. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my clarity. I usually like my clarity around minus 85 to minus 90. And what I do is I put a nice face mask on her. And the reason I do this is because I want her face to have a nice soft focus. I want her face to be in focus, but I want her skin to be nice and soft. The only thing I really want sharp on her face is her eyes. That's the biggest thing for me, um, is having the eyes really sharp and in focus. I like to leave the nose and the mouth in focus as well. I think they're a nice detail to have. too much of the lip there all right yeah so I do like leaving the lips and the nose in focus a bit um, it does add some more detail and make it nice um, but I don't like too much of it in focus um, another way besides a face mask to think about it is I like to think about it as someone wearing a ski mask and again it doesn't have to be perfect awesome that looks good right there so we'll go ahead and throw that off just so you can see the difference, there's zero, and there's minus 85. So it just really softens it up. It makes it less distracting with all these sharp details, and you can just focus on the nice, calming overlook, um, natural look. All right. Next, we're going to zoom in a tiny bit more. Getting nice and personal. All right. First things first. We want to just get the overall eyes a little bit brighter. It's kind of dark around there. So we're going to brighten them up just a tiny bit. There we are. And lastly, just go directly for the pupils. Again, the eyes is a big focus in my images, as it should be in everyone's images. Boost up the clarity on the <clears throat> on those. I want to make the eyes nice and sharp. Bring up the shadows again. This this look here is supposed to be moody, so I'm not going to get the shadows all the way out of these eyes. It just won't happen the way I took the image. Um, but what I can still do is brighten it up a little bit, and then I can bring up the highlights in the whites. So there's that nice catch light that really glimmers in the eyes when I zoom out here. Awesome. That image is done almost. This nose ring here is a wee bit distracting. I'm going to see if we can bring the highlights down um, and see if that helps at all. If not, I'm just going to have to eliminate it. Yep, it's a little distracting for me still, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, and then lastly, toss that so it blends better. There you have it. Final image, done and done. So we're going to export that. All right, I'll go ahead and show you guys another one here. So we've got a nice flat image here. Throw on in the bush too. Nice. We can see the before and after. See the difference here. Just adding that preset. So it really makes a huge difference having preset bundles. Um, and again, all of mine are available online for sale uh, directly on my website. I have them all on sale right now. So I'd highly recommend going and checking those out. All right. So again, we're going to start on here on the curves. This image is a little darker. So I'm going to bring this up higher. There we are. That's nice, right about there. There we are, got the highlights nice. Again, we want to add a little bit of clarity here, but not too much. The 
shadows and the blacks I am gonna brighten up still a bit just because it's dark I do like that a little bit darker again I shoot very I tend to shoot dark and moody looks most um, so most of my images tend to have this very um, you know nice sharp contrast very dark and loomy look all right I'm happy with that so let's go down here again let's look at the split toning first I really like the split toning on this one I think it adds a really nice touch to the skin tone um, so I'm gonna leave that as is the next thing is coming to the hues adjusting the hues There we are. I like this set as a green here. Let's see if we can move that all a little more. Nope. Takes too much away from the blue here and in her shirt. So I'm going to leave that blue as is. Next, we can go over to the luminance, as I'm happy with all the colors. But there is some luminance changes I want to do. So the skin, I want to make it a little less bright. There we are. And that's pretty much good, except the aqua I'm going to bring down a little bit as well. And then this blue a little bit as well. Awesome. So there's all that. Image looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and look at grain. So here's the grain again. Without grain. Let's grab something that's in focus. So without grain with grain. I like the grain. Again, I think it adds a nice film look to it. So I tend to leave grain on my image. That is a little much though, so I'm going to go down a tiny bit on the grain. All right, so next we're looking at the overall image. I'm pretty happy with where we're at. I do think a vignette might be nice on this, so I'm going to go ahead and throw one on here. Um, again, just so we can draw the eyes in towards the center. We don't want to make it too much that it's really noticeable. So that's good right there, I'm happy with that. Now we're gonna eliminate some distractions. Again, just little tiny things that happen to stand out. For me, again, I don't wanna take away too much. I like looking at everyone's natural beauty. And again, some of these items, I think, are just distracting to the overall piece. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate. Next, let's add a face mask. You can go either way. I always go dark and add the dark face mask. There we are. Again, you don't have to kill yourself over this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, Again, this is about editing portraits fast. In the future, I'll definitely have a video coming out for you guys on how I edit portraits for editorials and prints, because um, that's a lot longer process uh, and often involves heading over into Photoshop after you're done in Lightroom. Um, so there's a lot more touching up and fine details to do for that. And I'll have a tutorial for that in the near future. All right, again, we're going for that nice ski mask look. Perfect. That looks awesome. Again, nice soft look. For this one here, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a couple more of these. All right. Awesome. So there we go. We'll eliminate the freckles. Get those distractions out of there. Again, now we're going to the eyes. Brighten those up a little bit. Really. All right. Almost done. 
Finally, again, we're going in. We're going for that direct hit on the pupils. Alright, now let's back out. Pretty happy. I think I'm going to go even a little bit brighter with the eyes. Um, this one's a little bit of a brighter uh, scenario. So I think we'll be able to get a little more out of them. Um, and then a nice tip I always suggest when you can get the color really go for the color because it's not going to come in too harsh there awesome and there you have it there's another portrait done and done all right and here are the final two images just so you can see them here's the befores and then here are the afters Awesome guys, that's it for how to edit portraits in Lightroom fast. I hope you enjoyed the video and got a lot out of it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please write me below. I will definitely check it out and respond. Thank you all so much for your support and get outside and get creative.